Hi, I'm Allie, the hands behind the turtle trunk, and in today's video, I'm going to show you how to crochet this amigurumi butternut squash. If you're following along with the Pregnancy Progress Project, this is week 29, when baby is about the same size as a squash, at about two and a half pounds. I hope you enjoy this tutorial. Now let's get started. For today's tutorial, you will need medium white yarn in the colors light brown and dark brown, a four millimeter or G hook, polyfill stuffing, scissors, a yarn needle, and stitch marker, and optional supplies include two 12 millimeter black safety eyes and black crochet thread. We're going to start with our light brown yarn and we're going to begin by making a magic circle. So we're going to wrap our yarn around our index finger and our middle finger, wrap it around once, and when you come back around, cross it over, insert your hook under the first loop and grab the second one, pull it under, flip it up, and then we're going to secure our circle with a chain one. And then for round one, we are going to work seven single crochets inside the circle. So that's one single crochet, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. We're going to take this short tail end here and just pull it tight to close up that hole. So at the end of round one, we should have seven single crochets all the way around. And for round two, we are going to work two single crochets into each stitch around. So starting in that very first one, we're going to work two single crochets. So that's one. And I'm just going to mark that with my stitch marker so I don't lose my spot. And then I'm going to work a, another single crochet into the same stitch and then I'm going to work two single crochets into the next stitch, two single crochets into the next stitch, two single crochets into the next stitch, two into the next, two into the next, and two single crochets into that very last stitch. So at the end of round two, our total stitch count will be 14. For round three, we are going to work one single crochet into the first stitch. And then we're gonna work two single crochets into the second stitch. One and two. And we're gonna repeat that all the way around. So one single crochet into the next stitch, and then two single crochets into the next. One single crochet into the next stitch, and then two single crochets in the next. And we're gonna repeat that around for round three, one single crochet into the next stitch, and then two single crochets into the next. So I'm just on the last stitch, so in the last stitch, I'm gonna work two single crochets. And at the end of round three, our stitch count will be 21. Now we're on to round four. And for round four, we're going to work one single crochet into the first stitch. One single crochet into the second stitch. And then two single crochets into the third stitch. And we'll repeat that. So one single crochet in each of the next two stitches and then two single crochets into the next. And we're going to repeat that around for round four. One single crochet into each of the next two stitches and then two single crochets in the next. I'm just on the last stitch, so I'm going to work two single crochets in the very last stitch. And at the end of round four, our stitch count will now be at 28. Now on to round five, we are going to work one single crochet into the first stitch, one single crochet into the second stitch, and one single crochet into the third stitch. And then we're gonna work two single crochets into the fourth stitch. And we're gonna repeat that around. So one single crochet into each of the next three stitches 
and then two single crochets in the next. One single crochet in each of the next three stitches, and then two single crochets in the next. And we're going to repeat that around for round five. One single crochet in each of the next three stitches, then two single crochets in the next. I'm on the last stitch. I'm just going to work two single crochets in that very last stitch. And at the end of round five, our stitch count is now at 35. For round six, we're going to work one single crochet into the very first stitch, one single crochet into the second stitch, one into the third stitch, and one into the fourth stitch. And then we're going to work two single crochets into the fifth stitch. We're going to repeat that around. So one single crochet into each of the next four stitches, and then two single crochets in the next. That's one single crochet into each of the next four stitches, and then two single crochets in the next. And we're going to repeat that around for round six. I'm just on the last stitch. I'm going to work two single crochets in that very last stitch. And at the end of round six, our stitch count is now at 42. For round seven, we are going to work one single crochet into the first stitch. We're going to work one single crochet into the second stitch one into the third stitch, one into the fourth stitch, and one into the fifth stitch. And then we're going to work two single crochets in the next stitch. We're going to repeat that around. So one single crochet in each of the next five stitches. Three, four, five, and then two single crochets in the next. So one single crochet in each of the next five stitches. Three, four, five, and then two single crochets in the next. And we're going to repeat that around for round seven. And I'm just coming up to the last stitch. And in the last stitch, I'm going to work two single crochets. And at the end of round seven, our total stitch count is now at 49. And that was our last increase round. So now for rounds eight all the way to 17, so that's the next 10 rounds, we are going to work one single crochet into each stitch around. So starting off with round eight, I'm just gonna work one single crochet into each stitch around. And our stitch count is gonna remain at 49. And then we're gonna repeat that all the way to the end of round 17. So the next 10 rounds are just going to be one single crochet into each stitch around. So I'm just going to continue on and I'm going to catch up with you guys at the end of round 17. Our stitch count is just going to remain at 49 and we're just going to work one single crochet into each stitch around. So I'm just coming up to the end of round 17, and at the end of round 17, our total stitch count is still at 49. Now on to round 18. We're going to work one single crochet into the first stitch, one single crochet into the second stitch, one single crochet into the third stitch, one single crochet into the fourth stitch, and one single crochet into the fifth stitch, and then we're going to single crochet two together. And we're going to repeat that around. So one single crochet in each of the next five stitches. Three, four, five, and then we're going to single crochet two together. So that's one single crochet in each of the next five stitches. Three, four, five, 
and then single crochet two together. And we're gonna repeat that around for round 18. One single crochet in each of the next five stitches and then single crochet two together. So I just have two stitches left, so I'm going to single crochet two together. So at the end of round 18, our total stitch count is now at 42. Now on to round 19, and we are just going to work one single crochet into each stitch around. For round 19, just one single crochet into each stitch around, and our stitch count is going to remain at 42. So I'm just coming up to the end of round 19, and at the end of round 19, our stitch count will still be at 42. Now on to round 20. For round 20, we are going to work one single crochet into the first stitch, one single crochet into the second stitch, one single crochet into the third stitch, and one single crochet into the fourth stitch, and then we're going to single crochet two together, and we're going to repeat that around. One single crochet in each of the next four stitches, and then single crochet two together. So I just have two stitches left of round 20, so I'm going to single crochet two together. And at the end of round 20, our stitch count will now be at 35. And now for round 21, we are just going to work one single crochet into each stitch around. So our stitch count is going to remain at 35, and we're just going to work one single crochet into each stitch around. I'm just coming up to the last stitch of round 21, and at the end of round 21, our stitch count should still be at 35. And now for round 22, we're going to work one single crochet into the first stitch, one single crochet into the second stitch, and one single crochet into the third stitch, and then we're going to single crochet two together. So we're going to repeat that around one single crochet in each of the next three stitches and then two single crochets together. So one single crochet in each of the next three stitches and then single crochet two together. Just going to single crochet two together in the last two stitches. So at the end of round 22, our stitch count will now be at 28. And now for rounds 23 all the way to 33, we are going to just work one single crochet into each stitch around. So that's going to be for 11 rounds, just working one single crochet into each stitch around. And at the end of each round, our stitch count is going to remain at 28. So this is round 23, and we're just going to work one single crochet into each stitch around until we reach the end of round 33. So I'm just going to continue this around, and I'm going to catch up with you guys at the end of round 33. So I'm just coming up to the end of round 33, and at the end of round 33, our stitch count will still be at 28. And before I move on to round 34, I'm going to stop right here and I'm going to add the face to my squash. So I'm going to grab my uh, black embroidery thread, a yarn needle, oh sorry, not embroidery thread, I'm using a uh, crochet thread, um, yarn needle, my safety eyes, and their backings. And I'm going to add the face to the back side, so the opposite of where we are um, starting and stopping. And then let's see where I want to put this. I think I want to put it a little bit closer to the bottom. Maybe one, two, three, four, five. So maybe around hmm, rounds 10 and 11. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Eleven. Okay, I'm going to go actually between rounds um, 14 and 15. And I usually put my eyes about four stitches apart, um, but you can put yours wherever you'd like. 
So I'm just going to try that. And before I put the backings on for my eyes, I'm going to um, add the uh, smile first. And then once that's all set, I can move the eyes around if I need to. So I'm going to go in from behind. So beside one eye. Oops. And then down around and then back up beside the other eye. I think I'm gonna move these eyes a little bit closer actually. And then back through the center. So I just make like a little V shape. I'm gonna move this one eye a little bit closer. Just like that. So once you're happy with your face, if you just flip your squash inside out, add the backings to your eyes and then tie the crochet thread in a couple knots. I just always make sure when I'm tying up the crochet thread not to do it too tight. Um, Cause if you do it too tight, it pulls the thread in between the stitches so that you can't see it too well. So I just make sure it's a looser knot. When you're all done, flip it the right way. Okay, there we go. So now I'm just going to continue on. We're now on to round 34. So for round 34, we are going to work one single crochet into the first stitch. one single crochet into the second stitch and then single crochet two together. I'm going to repeat that around one single crochet in each of the next two stitches and then single crochet two together. I just have two stitches left so I'm going to single crochet two together and at the end of round 34, our stitch count is now going to be at 21. Now on to round 35, we are just going to work one single crochet into each stitch around. That's one in the first, one into the second. I'm just going to repeat that, one single crochet into each stitch around for round 35. I'm coming up to the end of round 35. At the end of round 35, our stitch count is still going to be at 21. For round 36, we're going to work one single crochet into the first stitch, and then single crochet two together. We're just going to repeat that around one single crochet into the next stitch, and then single crochet two together. And I'm going to repeat that around, but at, at the end of this round, we're going to change colors for the stem. So we're going to stop before we finish the very last stitch. So just continue this around. And we're going to stop before we do the very last single crochet two together. So I'm just coming up to the end of round 36. So I have two stitches left. So I'm going to do, start a single crochet two together. And then before I do the final pull, pull through, I'm going to stop and I'm going to drop my light brown color and I'm going to grab my light brown color. We're just going to attach the dark brown color now for our stem. So to do so, I'm just going to drop my light brown, pick up my dark brown, and do that final pull through with the dark brown. So just like that. So that was the end of round 36. So now our stitch count will be at 14. And now we're going to just continue on with our dark brown. Um, so now we can cut off the light brown and we're going to carry on with our dark brown. So I just trimmed the light brown and I grabbed some of my stuffing. So we're gonna stop here 
And we're going to start stuffing our uh, squash before we close it up anymore, um, before the hole at the top gets too small. So just grab a couple handfuls of your polyfill stuffing. Just make sure you get it pushed down all the way to the bottom. And you can add in as much or as little stuffing as you'd like. Uh, the more you add, the stiffer it will be, the less you add the squishier it will be, so it's really up to you how much you want to add. So I'm just going to add a couple handfuls to mine and I'll catch up with you guys when I'm done. So I just finished stuffing my squash, so now we're going to carry on and now we are on round 37. And for round 37 we are going to single crochet two together seven times. So just in each stitch around we're going to single crochet two together single crochet two together into the first two stitches then single crochet two together in the next two single crochet two together in the next two I'm just going to continue that all the way around for a total of seven times okay at the end of round 37 our stitch count will now be at seven I'm trying to show you guys the top of it but the camera's pretty close to the table so if you can see we have just a very small hole now at the top so now for rounds 38 to 40 so for the next three rounds we are just going to work one single crochet into each stitch around so our stitch count is going to remain at seven we're just going to single crochet into each stitch around for a total of three rounds so all the way to the end of round 40 and this is just going to make the little stem at the top I'm just on the last stitch of round 40 so at the end of round 40 our stitch count will still be at seven and now we're just going to close up the hole at the top. So to do so, I'm going to slip stitch into the very first stitch. And then I'm gonna tie off my yarn, leaving about a six inch tail. I'm gonna take my hook and just pull that. And then I'm gonna grab my yarn needle. I'm just gonna thread my yarn. And then I'm just going to weave in and out of the last seven stitches we just worked. So weave in and out of each stitch. And then when you reach the beginning again, just pull tight and that's just going to close up that hole at the top. And there's, I'm just going to secure it with a couple knots. And then I'm just going to tuck this end right inside and trim the excess. And I'm just going to squish the fluff around the polyfill on the inside to um, bring it up to the top. Okay, after you get your polyfill all situated, we're all done with our little squash. Thank you so much for following along and I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you're not already subscribed to my channel, I'd love to have you a part of the Turtle Trunk family. You can find this pattern and other free patterns on my new blog, whoshomemade.com. You can also follow me on Facebook and Instagram and be sure to tag me in your photos so I can see your finished Turtle Trunk creations. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time.